welcome to another episode with the Nairobi Hospital. Today's discussion is on childhood cancer and taking us through that topic is Dr. Fatima Chakera, a pediatrician at the Nairobi Hospital. Thank you very much. So today we're talking about childhood cancer. It's very rare and it differs from the from adult cancer in terms of how it's, uh, its growth, its treatment and its spread. So what is childhood cancer? Childhood cancer is a cancer that occurs in a child from uh, 0 to 18 years. There are many types of childhood cancers. There are blood cancers that form from blood, uh, bone cancers, uh, forms from uh, nerve cells, forms from any part of the body basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. How childhood cancer differs from an adult is how it uh, how it usually presents. By the time we discover cancer in a child, it has usually spread too much. Yes. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms and signs of uh, childhood cancer? So the reason why childhood cancer is not uh, early, early, picked early is because the signs and symptoms mimic common illnesses. A child would just have a uh, uh, common calls which have become persistent or your child would have easy bruising or bumps and lumps all over the body so uh, if your child has certain symptoms just go visit a pediatrician and they will assess the child and just make sure the child has no cancer are those services available at Nairobi Hospital yes we have a pediatrician available uh, every day at the Anderson Clinic. Mm -hmm. Another question is about uh, the diagnosis. So the diagnosis comes from these small illnesses that mimic. So once we suspect a child has cancer, what we would do is we'll do a number of tests. A blood tests, an x-ray, CT scans, maybe a biopsy, and all that together will help us make the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Of cancer. Okay, cancer is also not a lone problem. Yes. The trickle down effect we see, it, it's not only the child that is affected. We have the parents, we have the siblings, we have the friends. Cancer affects everyone. Mm -hmm. So if a child is diagnosed with, car with cancer, the parents will be involved. They won't be able to focus well on their personal lives, on their work relation with their friends, as well as the other siblings. So we need a lot of support with the child and the parent. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Tari, what are some of the common cancer cases in children? Uh, the most common cancer cases in children is uh, blood cancer, so acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemias, uh, brain tumors, as well as Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin -lymph uh, non lymphoma, which is basically uh, tumors in your lymph nodes as well as uh, tumors in your kidneys and your nerve uh, nerve cells. Mm -hmm. What are some of the side effects of the long-term treatments? First of all there are many kinds of cancer treatments. There is chemotherapy which targets a specific cell in the cell cycle in the cancer cell. Then there is surgery where you try to remove the tumor uh, there's radiation where we uh, radiate that particular part of the body and uh, there's a new therapy called immunotherapy where it works differently but it helps your body fight your uh, fight the cancer. All these therapies have side effects because they're also harming the good cells or normal cells in your body. Each, each drug has a side effect and these drugs can cause various issues in the long run. Can cause infertility as the most common one, can cause uh, resp respiratory issues, cardiac issues as well, and also increase the risk of cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, what of the palli palliative care? Now palliative care is basically to help the patient and the family uh, knowing that this is a lifelong disease, possibly no cure, so how to make their life better and how to help them go through this 
big illness, making sure there's no pain mm. in the child's life. Okay. February 15th is a day that we the glo globally we celebrate the International Day for Matters to with Children Cancer. Mm. What would you tell the people, especially when it comes to this day? I would tell all parents, be aware of your child, okay? When your child persistently complains about something, take it seriously, okay? Bone pains, bruising, yes, children fall, but let's just come to a pediatrician and let's have it checked out. It might be nothing, it might be something. The earlier we get it diagnosed, the better it is for the child. Are we having many cases of children cancer coming up? Yes, we are, because of early diagnosis and awareness of the patient, mm. parent. Mm. Yes. Okay. Natari, there are incidences where children are diagnosed with some type of cancer and they come out uh, being successful and given the clean bill of health. Different types of cancers uh, have different kinds of mortality rates. So I'm going to use a general blanket. In Africa, or in Kenya in particular, we have a mortality rate of 80%. So that means every child diagnosed with cancer has a 80% chance of failing and uh, dying. Comparing it to other areas where the treatment and diagnosis is better, they have a 90% chance of survival. And why is that? The reason that is that is they are well equipped. First of all, they have adequate staffing, okay? They have adequate uh, diagnosis and the treatment, uh, the treatment medication is not stopped because of lack of access of medication. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the gaps that we are facing as a country? in relation to now what other continents are doing to, to reduce the gap of mortality? Uh, first of all, we're increasing awareness that children can get cancer. Secondly, we are trying to uh, uh, reduce the bridge of poverty. So in our country, uh, NHIF is trying to provide for uh, free uh, medication to cancer patients. We're trying to train more people to know more about cancers and how to treat it. Yes. And that's all we had for today. For more information, kindly visit the pediatric clinic at the Anderson Center at the Nairobi Hospital. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you for having me. Okay.